things in ladder, and that's gonna make a big difference. But what do you think they're gonna ban? I mean, remember Nova last week with the giant? Oh, here we got the bands pulling up right now. They hit up Miner and Hog. Oh Miner and Hog. Miner seems to be the classic ban. I expected Miner to be there. Hog though, Hog though, the Hog ban. I feel like Clash Wars already made that mistake, right? They shut down the Hog instead of the Giant, and then they let Nova play the deck they're extremely comfortable with. I don't know how I feel about Cloud not taking out the Giant. I feel like it was a very, very obvious choice to take out Nova's Giant play. That's what they play all day. Cloud is basically trying to say that we're gonna beat you at your best deck. Yeah. I mean, the, they should have shut down the Giant. And I mean, the Miner, nobody's, we haven't seen it yet because everybody's been banning it. So we don't know what the effect of it would be if it was in the tournament. So I think the Giant Miner would have been the best ban option for them instead of going for Hog Rider. Just because they already destroyed Clash Lawyers last week with the had the Giant. Exactly. I think, uh, I think we're getting confirmation from the chat that the bans the bands were actually reversed. Do we have different bands, Jeff? It's Giant, actually, for Nova. Okay, so the Giant was banned. Okay. There we go. There we go. That All makes right. a lot more sense in my man mind. Um, that seems more of like the obvious ban choice for these decks. They're forcing, they're forcing, you know, different deck choices than we saw last week, and that is something that I like to see. So I'll be excited to see what they actually go for for the first two decks. Yeah, and no minor ban. So here you go. Since we have no minor ban, we're gonna see a very. I mean, you're obviously we're gonna see the minor decks, right? What do you think we'll see? We'll see the furnace. Do you think we'll see sort of like? I mean, we saw some crazy Lava. Royal Giant stuff yesterday, or last week. We'll see Lava Hound Miner. Ooh, Miner Hound. Miner Hound. I'd be excited to see that. That's uh, Oh, here we go. We're jumping in right into the first match. Whoa, first match. Come on. What do we got going? Both players are just waiting for that 10 elixir mark. Pump in the back. Oh my gosh. Pump, pump, pump it up. Tag, you're pregnant. <laughs> oh, what a name. <laughs> What a name, starting right with the Inferno Tower, getting that poke damage on the right side. Inferno Tower is one of those really annoying cards to play against because if you're not dealing with it, you're getting poke damage. Very unfortunate minor placement, got hit by that Ice Wizard right away, and isn't gonna really get the three hits on pump that they would have wanted. I don't, I think they're both gonna play the same kind of deck. They're playing the minor mini P.E.K.K.A. So it's gonna be down to who gets their minor placement and who gets their pump down if they're both running pump. And who can protect, if, if Anonymous can protect it, protect pumps, he'll win. That's, the, that's gonna be the biggest thing. For sure. I feel like, uh, I feel like Tag really needs to get some, get some damage on. He's barely got like a little bit of poke damage and Anonymous is doing a really great job at shutting down all of his, uh, his furnaces. So unless, unless like he can really make a push here, he's gonna be in trouble. Both players are very, very even. I wanna see who's gonna be the first. It's gonna be very important to see who's the first one to get to tower to make that push, to make that kill. Right now it's just going about little chip damage, little, the, who can, they're trying to set up right now. So it's about who gets that first damage, like you said, on the tower is gonna make the big difference. Exactly, and I think, uh, I think, um, Oh, yeah, I think Tag is doing a great job at getting it, right? So Anonymous may be getting that poison damage off to the side, like he's hitting that poison damage, but no one, you know, no one is like, or Tag is really getting the princess damage on the right-hand side. And uh, he's been really focused on that side, not lots of split damage. I think that's working for him, but it's really gonna come down to the overtime. Yeah, I mean, oh, we got a good push here right here. Oh, he Ooh. did zap some nice stop with the zap. Still got a good amount of damage with the poison and all that stuff. Actually, no, that was Anonymous's poison. But he got damage with the Miner. And technically, Tag's in the lead right now. Exactly, and so, you know, it's really putting pressure on Anonymous to perform. This is the first match of the game. Both, both teams really need to show, like, we're gonna come out and take this round. And uh, Anonymous is obviously Nova's leader, so a quick loss in the beginning for Nova Prom your leader is not gonna feel good as far as <laughs> There goes team the poison goes. from Tag. He gets the pump and the tower damage. Kind of weird for Anonymous to play his pump right there. I feel like that was almost an accident, especially when he's Tag is attacking that right-hand side. 
Tack is just getting, look at this rotation. He's just in his groove. He's getting the poke damage off. He's getting, he's fighting the side he wants, right? He's fighting the side with the uh, furnace. And Anonymous can't seem to find the right counter to be able to get damage off. Yeah, he just needs, Anonymous needed to put a lot more pressure on the other side to stop Tack from doing it, but it's not working for his favor right now. Yeah, exactly. I feel like he hasn't been able to really pull his troops over there and make it count. This looks like it's going to go to Tag. Yeah, because that Furnace is just killing his guards, putting a lot of pressure on him. Oh, Tag throwing out the good game. And there's the poison for the kill. Well played. Tag, you're, you're pregnant. Another Miner deck. Tag. When you don't ban the Miner, what do you see? Miner, and I expect <laughs> we'll see Miner from all the players. Like, it's gonna be, it's the key component right now. We all know it's extremely good at tournament level. In fact, I would almost be really excited if someone was smart and played Trifecta. Oh, they can't. Hog is gone. Wrecked. So they don't even have counters. Yeah, because they got rid of the giant and the hog rider, so yep. really the only push card you have is minor. We basically, we basically, yeah, they basically forced the decks to be minor. So they're saying that you know, we're gonna win with minor decks. We're good with minor. Uh, not working out so well for everyone, but we'll see. And yeah, Anonymous Riggle. is already lost, so Nova's not in the lead right now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They they already it already it's already feeling like a mistake. But it's gonna come down. You know, it's not all on one player, right? So it's gonna come down. Maybe that's his worst deck. Maybe he was more comfortable with the giant poison. I don't know. But then again, we can't. Nobody can have the same cards. So it's gonna change up at some point. Yes, but I feel like there's a lot of like I feel like Miner is one of those cards. It's like Princess. Like it just fits, right? Like you can throw it in a lot of decks. If you're good at playing it, you're gonna get the value that you need to. Nova Nova did so well with the Poison Giant last time. Why did they shoot themselves in the foot? Do you know what I mean? Why did they ban the Giant this time when that's what worked for them last time? Maybe they they saw how Cloud was playing with the Giant last week too. Oh, that's true. That's true. Maybe they felt that they couldn't compete in a one-to-one -one Giant Poison match. I'm not sure. Or maybe they just felt they had the better chance. But so far... So far, it's been Cloud's game. Light of Orion, though, great player. Light, both Light and Wriggle. This match is crazy. Light is just getting that poke damage over and over and over on the right-hand side. He keeps shutting down Wriggle's pumps. If Wriggle really doesn't, like, make a play soon, he's going to be in trouble, especially as we get closer to overtime. Yeah, I mean, he's got a little bit of push here, but those Fire Spirits and the Ice Speed are just tearing up his guards. So he doesn't really have a push with, with his Miner. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like... Furnace was such a good card choice. Oh my goodness, because people were, you know, as soon as you see that, okay, Miner's gonna be played, right? We know Miner wasn't banned. We know it's getting played. Your first instinct is guards, stab goblins, like uh, skeletons, things that I can shut down Miner with, or mini P.E.K.K.A., things that I can just at least distract Miner, get it out of the way, not have to worry about it. And so everyone was like, okay, if you, if you know those cards are coming, play cards that just shut that down before it even happens. Play Furnace, play, you know, Zap, Poison, the crowd control cards. We can really make those pushes count. Got a little push here. Yep, counter push by Riggle. Might even up this game. The Plus small troops are stopping the mini packer from getting the tower, which is very effective. And it's gonna come down to who messes up their deployment and the mini packer gets on the tower. Woo! And here it looks like it's coming. Oh, mini packer shut down by the guards. See, He's see getting the... great poke damage with the poison miner though. Yeah. It's gonna I be think... one. And a miner on the tower should take the tower up. It's gonna be this counter. So I feel like I feel like uh, where Orion really did good is he kept getting that poke damage early on, and he forced Riggle from Riggle wanted to fight the left lane in the beginning. Riggle wanted to fight the left lane, and Light was like, nah. Forced him to the right lane, got his poke damage, and then now he's ahead, right? So you when you're poisoned, back, woo! You, all right, let's see what's about to ensue. Elixir pump. Okay. Elixir pump. Pump in the back. Pump in the back. No, where the, two, where the miners at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I think they're both wait. I, I get obviously they have them, but I think they're both waiting. There oh, go. there we go. At the Knew same time. Happen. Wow, who's has the better counter? Willie did. Yep, it looks like I think you're right. I think Willie had the better counter there. Pulled the miner away. Unfortunately, that knight did not do his job, and it looks like that's gonna keep Willie ahead of this game. Yo, well, okay. Let's be fair. I feel like Knight, three muskies. Knight is one of those underrated cards. And here comes the three muskies. Oh my goodness, baby got back. 
He did a great job at shutting down the two muskets on the right hand side, but it cost him ooh, too much. Seven. Um, yep, guards in the front. That musketeer might be able to do some good damage. Now he's gonna shut it down right here. Great counter with those guards. Guards the are poison, such an underrated card. We and we were talking. That's exactly what we were talking about last week, guys. Guards are so underrated, especially at tournament level. Zap doesn't take shields. Uh, they deal with they deal with things like the musketeers. They deal with the minor. Pekka, regular Pekka. Like everything. They're really like the, the, the key counter card now. The keys, you just have Smarty. to be good Any, at playing Anything them. you can think of, they counter it. That's ground, at least. Here we go. Miner in the back getting that chip damage. And we just talked about how important this is to keep getting that chip damage. Because if it comes down to overtime, if it comes down to the double poison, that chip damage is what's going to put it the game away for you. Especially when you have no hog. Nothing that can really hit that damage very fast. I think it's um, really just messed up there. Instead of going for the tower with that miner, he should have kept controlling the pumps. Because now he's behind. <laughs> yes, exactly. I totally agree. And for the love of God, stick, please don't rip my face off. Chat, calm yourselves. Oh Whoa, my goodness. Willie just Takes came that out tower. the tower. He might even get a three dub. No, but he did get two hits off from that mini P.E.K.K.A. And you know, you know that Nova has got to be scared now. He has... 45 seconds to really come back here, and that's not enough with the minor deck. Nope, and check his deck. So if you're looking at his cards, he doesn't really have the push power, right? He's got the three muskies, but we already know he's gonna split them. There you go, you saw the split. He splits them every time, and with that poison zap combo, I don't think he's gonna make it either. He has one musketeer. He should have backed up the other musketeer by itself. Yep, for sure. I feel like I feel like he definitely that was the point when he needed to make his play. He needed to make his three muskies count. He but the, to make the his furnace is count. just shutting down everything. Well, because if the I fire like... spirits get on the musketeers, the, they're done. That's true. That's true. And I feel like it's a hard fight, right? You're fighting against two furnaces. You've already lost the tower. You know there's nothing you can do, and you just gotta sit there in pain. Have a dance party with <laughs> Stick. Oh my Jumping goodness. into the next round, we've got Light Pollux versus Trainer Dibbits. Both good players. I feel like both teams brought like really heavy hitters this time. I feel like all the clans lineups, low key, really brought heavy hitters, and that you guys are gonna be really excited for a lot of these matches. They're such good, such good players. Who would have thought a miner? Not on the pump, <laughs> never. <laughs> Miner shutting down that pump. We got, Interesting ooh, to see the Prince, though. The Prince. There's no hog, so the Prince play. Double, Double prince. prince. Please tell me there's a P.E.K.K.A. in there. Please there's tell a, there's me a there's a P.E.K.K.A. There's a P.E.K.K.A. There's so. a mini P.E.K.K.A. in the <laughs> other ones, yeah. Prince almost makes a tower. I think he's going to get there. Two hits, three hits. No! Shut down by the Miner. But he look how much Elixir. Miner. Look how much Elixir that cost him. He's down, what? Two? He's down two. And what well, we do know... Okay, so we know we all, we now know that Trainer Dippet's deck cycles a lot faster. Uh, he was able to cycle through those cards a lot faster than um, Light is going to be able to. But Light has that pump. So the, the end, Trainer just wasted his miner. So now he's in trouble. Nice. Very good counter to hit that pump right off the bat. Trainer knows that he can't let Light pump up, especially when his deck is that much higher. He's already getting better trade value than him. The and princess behind him. the prince right there is going to be damaged. Because well, he's going to yeah, drop little things to stop work. it. Stop this prince, but the prince is gonna still get damage off. Yeah, and he's got two hits, three hits, and the princess on the thing. Not only is that getting damage on the tower, but it's a strategy. And mini packet to protect the princess. Woo! Right oh, zap, zap shuts in. it down. But he had to waste his zap, so. That's true. So, well, the, the good thing is, like, Trainer knows that he can cycle faster. The problem is that he's not, he's not playing the counters right. He's not cycling the way he needs to be cycling to win this game. And I feel like, uh,. I feel like that's really important, especially when you're already down a thousand, a thousand points on your tower, right? He's got to deal with that pump. He's got to do something about it. He's just gonna let it go. That's gonna be dangerous. It's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, chat was pretty funny right there. All right, so the problem with Trainer, I believe, is the fact that he's not being aggressive with a low cost deck. He should be way more aggressive. Mini yes, horde. exactly. You know what? He really needs, when he sees that pump, if he's not going to, you know, waste the poison because he wants to make great counters like that, then he needs to be hitting that left side, right? If someone plays pump, you're not going to counter it. You need to punish him for playing pump. You know, throw your mini P.E.K.K.A., throw your fire spirits, get a quick two hits on tower, and put yourself back in the That's game. That's a tower. That's going to be a tower. As soon as that mini P.E.K.K.A. hits it. Ooh, nope. I don't think he's going to be able to stop it. One, and that's, yep. Stick called it five minutes before it even happened. There's the first tower. And you know what's funny? Is Light hasn't played his last card yet. 
And you know what? That's There more... we go, guards. Oh, I feel like not playing. When you see that, this happens a lot, especially in tournament play. Uh, you'll see seven. Seven out of eight I came in and whooped his level five account. <laughs> Bro, you gotta let me, I gotta give back some props sometimes. Here we go. We got, I can't say that name, versus Blazer. Truth. I'm just gonna call you Truth. Truth, Truth you, Blazer. Princess is gonna shut down the furnace. Yeah, did you see? Did you see the uh, the Ooh. quick goblin barrel throw? If he gets this on the tower, it's game. And he does. Oh no, the zap is gonna stop it, but it's not gonna shut it down. That's gonna take his tower to at least yep, 500 down. And we're looking at. Ooh, counter push with a minor minion horde. Poison nice. Comes Poison in. to shut it down, but it's still gonna get some damage. It didn't even get that much damage. Honestly. Oh, that was really unfortunate. That was a good poison. Yeah, he got it really quick. Um, it seems Double like furnace? it seems like Truth hasn't been able to make his plays, right? He had he had such an interesting deck, right? He's got he's got the uh, the Goblin Barrel in there. He's got the Bates. He's got the Minor Minion Horde. He just wasted them too fast. He you know he wa he showed his all his cards. He's like, here's my cards. You don't have to worry about the surprise factor. I'm showing you what I'm playing. It's not working. Goblin Barrel coming in. It's really good when the thing is distracted, but we know that. Woo! That's a lot of damage right there. Nice, nice. Now he's evened it up, kind of. He's kind of came back. Now Now mm. that Blazer has to play a little more defensively now. Well, you also have to realize, you also have to realize that he, uh, that Furnace back there is like the worst thing for his deck. You know, he's got, uh, he's got the Minion Horde. He's got the Princess. He's got the Goblin Barrel. He's going to have a really hard time fighting fighting Furnace this whole game. Furnace is such a good counter to his deck. What he, what I think Blazer should do is if he puts this Furnace Seal on the other lane eventually, it'll be able to stop him from losing that tower. I'm gonna have to agree. I think it's a mistake that he placed it in the middle. He should have did what you said and threw it on the other lane. We already know that Furnace is saving his left hand lane and then he could have saved his poison for more of a aggressive That's a tower. play. Tower is down. But he's still got 500 left on his tower, it's not over yet. Oh no, it's extremely close. And with 47 seconds, I'm gonna say that this is going into overtime. Um, oh no, there's the furnace. Okay, so he waited. He waited till he could take the tower. He made sure he could get the tip damage and then he threw the furnace on the other side like we thought. Not a bad play whatsoever. Finally getting the value out of the minion horde at least. It gets poisoned, but he got the counter and that's that's what counts. Oh, barrel. Where's the zap? Mini Pekka to counter, there's Ooh. the zap. Painful, 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 painful. That was his, that was kind of his last. Yes, but he, oh, and the guards to shut down. Barbarians, he needs to furnace this. Yep, furnace is there. Poison, is Poinus gonna be able to kill that in 10 seconds? Go Maybe bro, with a Goblin Barrel can get a hit off? Yes, it is. So we are going into the overtime, but it looks like he's gonna take maybe too much damage here on the left-hand side. Takes way too long to play that poison. I feel like if he could have, maybe he was out of elixir. I didn't get to see it as, as clearly as I wanted to. But if he was, I feel like the poison was a little delayed. I feel like he could have got way better value out of it if he was a split second faster. He split up his minion horde and his mini pack. It kind of confused him, but the 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 furnace is countering his whole push. It counters barbarians. Ooh. It counters minion horde. I know it it's so brutal, especially yeah. Truth is just has a really hard matchup with that furnace. It really shuts down everything. I, and I'm glad to see Furnace here. It's the perfect counter when you're playing minor stuff. It's a really hard matchup. Well, it's kind of a... I mean, honestly, Truth is playing a very janky kind of deck. Because mm -hmm. he had to change out cards. I agree. And I Blazers play more of a, uh, a standard minor mini pack of deck. Oh, and it's working. I feel like there's the minor for game. I feel like Blazer...